different number of magpies symbolizes different things in the UK and Ireland. Um, but there's a few different variations of a nursery rhyme telling which one would signify. So I found this one that's written down in 1780 in Observations on Popular Antiquities by John Brand. And this one goes, one for sorrow, two for mirth, three for funeral. And this was then elongated in a version in a collection of proverbs and popular sayings relating to the seasons, the weather and archaeocultural arch pursuits by Michael as Lane B. Dinham and was written in 1846. And that one goes one for sorrow, two for mirth, three for funeral, four for birth, five for heaven, six for hell, seven for the devil and his own self. The one that I'm most familiar with was used for a team song for Magpie, which was a UK te children's television show from 1968 to 1980. And they seem to have excluded religious symbolism in that. So it's more secular. And that's the one I'm familiar with. This one goes one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, Seven for a secret, never to be told. And when I was younger, I would uh, always imagine the seven one be like a big treasure chest opening up to reveal a secret for some reason. <laughs> when we were younger, we found this Mike Five with a broken wing. So even though people, some people think uh, because it's one for sorrow, a single Mike Five is like a negative omen. Um, but I think if you wave it, then it means it goes away. 